welcome to our new video. Elementary OS 6.1 you all knew, although being praised as a step forward compared to its predecessors, nevertheless has received criticism for being hard to set up for new users. In case you want to start with elementary OS and still don't know where to begin or what to do next, in this video we will show you how to familiarize yourself with elementary OS, how to make it your own and prepare it for your daily work. Let's dive in. Elementary OS is one of the most polished, beautiful, curated and cohesive GNU slash Linux based operating systems out there. It's been touted as the Linux distribution aimed at beginners out of the box ready for new users. But after Elementary OS 6 Odin was out in August 2021, some people criticized it for the way its App Store was implemented and there were some concerns if new users would be able to grasp how the operating system worked and how to set it up for daily work. Here we have collected several simple steps you need to take to make elementary OS Yolnir a little bit more like what you've been accustomed to. But before that, in the case you're new to elementary OS, this is what you get when you first install it. The only thing we changed is adding the OBS screen recorder. We installed it as a flat pack, which is, in the case you're new to Linux, a modern universal platform for installing applications in a Linux-based system. We'll show you how to do it later on in the video. Elementary OS has its own desktop environment, called Pantheon, with its own workflow. The app menu is in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Then the calendar is in the middle of the top panel. And several system commands are placed in the right-hand side corner of the panel, where you'll also find system notifications. There's a dock at the bottom of the screen where several elementary OS curated apps are pinned. Everything is nice and clean and neatly organized. Compared to some previous elementary OS versions we have tried before, now right-clicking the desktop works and it offers access to changing wallpaper, display settings and then system settings as well. We'll talk about that in detail later on in the video. This is Files, Elementary OS's default file manager. You open folders or files with one click. It's just the way Elementary OS has organized its workflow. To select an item, you just need to tick a small circle that appears next to it. Another thing specific to elementary OS is the position of window controls. The close button is on the left hand side, while the maximize button is on the right hand side of the window. Yeah, that's right, there is no minimize button at all, and here's why. The logic behind this is that instead of being minimized, apps should be closed and then when you open it again, it's expected to be where it was when closed, similar to the way apps work on your smartphone. Still, to minimize an app, you can just click its icon in the dock. Web, also known as Epiphany, is the default browser in elementary OS. This is another difference, since in other Linux distributions, the default web browser is Firefox. But We'll get to that too. Elementary OS is a keyboard orientated operating system and to find out its keyboard shortcuts, just press the super button. So by pressing the super key and the down arrow on your keyboard, you can enter Elementary OS's multitasking view and then with the appropriate key combination, you can switch the workspaces. After that, you can assign apps to different workspaces. 
Elementary OS is a champion of multitasking in the Linux world, in our view. Now it's time to show you how to install apps in Elementary OS Yolnir and add additional software sources. Well, as we have previously said, Elementary OS has been recently criticized for offering not so many applications out of the box. What's more, it's been said that Elementary OS's App Store is not loaded with apps you can usually find in many other GNU slash Linux distros out there. So, if you open the Elementary OS's App Store and choose one of the categories, say the audio category by default, you'll find just several applications grouped into paid ones and free apps. Those under the non-curated apps section were added by us after the installation and we will, of course, show you how to do it yourself. All of this means that by default Elementary OS does not offer a chance to install many popular applications for Linux desktops such as Audacity for instance or Shotcut and so on. And that was the point of the criticism if new users would be able to add additional software sources by themselves. All you need to do is to add Flatpak Software Platform to Elementary OS, and this is how to do it. The first step is to open the flathub.org website. It contains countless Linux apps distributed in the Flatpak format. There, you search for the app you want to install. Let's search for the VLC player. When you click the install button, you'll get the ref file into your downloads folder. Now, just click the file to start it, follow the instructions on the screen, agree to the installation and the application will be added to the system. Installing just one application will add the Flatpak repository to your system and the elementary OS's app store will be populated by apps from the Flathub repository. So now, if we open the app store again, we'll see that the video category, for instance, contains not only the elementary curated applications, but also numerous apps from the Flathub, including those the most popular ones. You can ignore this non-curated app warning, because VLC, for example, together with many other applications, is a very popular app, used on different platforms, including Linux. The same is with the Office Suite. Elementary OS does not offer an Office Suite pre-installed. One of the most popular Office Suites in the Linux world, LibreOffice, even cannot be found among the elementary's curated apps in the App Store. Now that we have Flatpaks enabled, it's easy to install LibreOffice. Or if you prefer only Office, it's there too. This is exactly the way you can add Firefox web browser if you want to, since it's the default web browser in many GNU slash Linux distributions. Firefox is also offered in the Flatpak format, and you'll find it in the Internet category. After the installation, all you need to do is to set up Firefox according to your liking. Elementary OS is an Ubuntu-based Linux distribution. This means that you can still install applications from the official Ubuntu repositories. If you are unsure about the names of the packages you need to install, just search for them on the official Ubuntu packages website. That's how we installed Synaptic Package Manager, a classic graphical installer for Debian-based desktops. Elementary OS is, as we have mentioned, the Ubuntu-based operating system. So you just need to open the terminal app and type in the name of the desired app in the form you have found on the Ubuntu Packages site. 
So, type in the command sudo apt install with the name of the application you need to install. When you install Synaptic, then you don't need to use the command line anymore if you don't want to. That's how we installed Microsoft Core Fonts. Let's install Focus Writer as an example. Type in the name of the app in the search box, then mark the app for installation and click the apply button. Additionally, Elementary OS supports programs installation via .deb format. To enable this way of adding apps to your system, you need to install GDB Package Manager in Synaptic or via Terminal. After that, we'll pick up an installation file from the Internet and install it. As an example, let's install the Opera web browser. We download the installation file from their website. The file is in our Downloads folder. Now let's just right-click it and choose the option to install it via GDB Package Manager. The browser is now installed and will be updated with the system because we agreed to that option during the installation. Now it's time to customize the system. Let's see what we can do with the out-of-the-box configuration. The very first thing we usually do with our elementary OS builds is to make the app dock suitable for us by removing the items we do not find necessary. To remove the unnecessary items, just drag them out of the dock. To add items to the dock, you need to just drag and drop them from the Applications menu. Now let's change the wallpaper. Elementary OS offers several extremely high quality wallpapers pre-installed. We check out some of them. Within the System Settings app, you can switch between light and dark Elementary OS themes. Both these themes look really magnificent and highly polished. You can change accent colors too. There's an option to customize dock and panel, so this is how the dock looks when it's made bigger. And then you can check out the multitasking tab within the System Settings app. Unlike some other popular Linux distributions, Elementary OS does not allow users to change desktop and icon themes. Nevertheless, to do that you need to install an app called Elementary Tweaks and it's quite easy to find instructions on the internet on how to install the app. But we won't do it now, because in this video we want to show you what you can do within limits set by the Elementary OS team. Another tweak you can make is to change the applications menu. If you don't like the default setup with apps listed in alphabetical order, you can change it to the category view. All in all, Elementary OS is a stable and beautiful Linux-based operating system. It's not too heavy on resources too. In our testing, it was taking around 1.4 GBs of RAM while recording the screen. It has worked flawlessly for us, and we didn't have any crashes, bugs or anything like that. That's how we customize Elementary OS only for our needs. We do hope this will help you to set up your Elementary OS installation to your liking. We hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Share it, like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.